So, Ricky, is it fair to say this is more like extras than The Office? Um, it's sort of a cross between the two, really. It's a fake documentary, like The Office, but it's uh, at the backdrop of media, like extras. That's, but if um, The Office sort of reflected those quaint docu-soaps of the 90s where normal people were trying to be famous, like David Brent, you know, this is much more up to date, where it's sort of D-list celebrities living their life like an open wound to try and be on... <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And Warwick, the Warwick... Just say Warwick. it, like Peter Andre. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> Like Peter Andre, I go won't, on. I won't diss anyone. <laughs> um, and uh, I suppose it's, um, he's, he's got a terrible um, accountant, so he's got a, a tax bill. His career's on the slide, he's not getting the films anymore. He's going through a messy divorce, so he agrees to do this fly on the wall, let the cameras into his house 24-7 to try and get back on the top. And he's, he's manipulative, he runs an agency, but he steals all the best jobs for himself and he just lets out the other dwarfs for, you know... <laughs> You know, human bowling balls and stuff. <laughs> and Johnny um, um, is uh, playing himself, and he's doing a new Tim Burton film, um, Rumpelstiltskin, and he's playing a, a dwarf. So he wants to get in the head of a little person. Oh, so you're playing a dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> okay. and, uh, honestly, it was an incredible day. It was the last day of shooting, and um, uh, it, was, it was amazing. And Warwick. the things he came up with, making Warwick do it. He made him do Michael Flatley. He came out of nowhere and just going... <laughs> and made him dance, and he made Warwick dance for about eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a clip of Johnny and Warwick and yourself and Stephen. Here they are, the lads. Johnny. Hi. Hello, lads. So, yeah, I'm popping here, what, every other day to see you guys, aren't I? Seems like it, yeah. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you met before? Johnny, this is Stephen. Hello, Warwick, what's your name? Hello. And Ricky, then. I actually remember him from the Golden Globes. Hi. Yeah. How's it going? I'm fine, man. Just doing another film that's going to make loads of money. Probably a lot more money than any film you've ever <coughs> made. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just just writing and I write and direct all my own stuff. How great for you! That must be so great. You know, I'm working with a great director right now, uh, a guy named Tim Burton. Have you ever heard of him? Of course. Yeah, uh, the film itself is really brilliant, and um, I'm playing a very interesting character. Do you have any idea who my leading lady is on this film? Le in, in the Tim Burton film? Um, yeah. yeah. Helen Bonham Carter? I don't know. Stab in the dark. She thinks you're an idiot. Sorry, have I done something to offend you? What do you mean, like, trashing me in front of, like, 200 million people at the Golden Globes? It was a while ago. I, I, they were jokes, Johnny. I didn't... Oh, they were jokes? Yeah. You like jokes? Yes. Good. Because I actually got together with a few pals after the awards, and we wrote some jokes about you. <laughs> I want you to know this. I'm going to carry this with you for the rest of your days. No one makes fun of Tim Allen on my watch. <laughs> and gets away. <laughs> no. In terms of controversy, Ricky, you are not shy. Uh, you, you do like... I don't know if you like... Do you like getting into trouble? Do you like... I don't get into trouble. I'm, well, a, I'm a comedian. Fred West gets into trouble. <laughs> <I'm not even> <laughs> <laughs> There's paedophiles with careers. What have I ever done? <laughs> no, but even at the end... <laughs> even at the end of the Golden Globes, just in yeah. case you'd left anyone unoffended, uh, how did you sign off? I just thanked everyone, and I said, and, of course, thanks to God for making me an atheist. Which you can say here, but in yeah. America they take that stuff very seriously. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's sort of, um, I think it's about 10% atheist. I think here's about 45% atheist. But, um, yeah, they were offended by it. They thought it was... That's pretty... only because God lives in the Midwest, doesn't he? Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got a place there. Yeah. <laughs> was it the next day, was it after the Golden Globes, that you, someone sent you the picture of the church? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I think some, some reverend somewhere or some bishop, um, did a sermon for me to save my soul, because I'm, I'm going to hell, of course. <laughs> this is a picture of the thing. It's yeah. a gen... That's, that's real. Oh, it's real. No, it's real, yeah. yeah. A yeah. sermon for Ricky Gervais. Mm. <laughs> and then was it the same day or the next day that someone said... That's in L.A. There's a difference. In New York, they named a sandwich after me. <laughs> <laughs> See, in the window there. A sandwich for Ricky Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hell, but there's cheese and ham. <laughs> 
I suppose it's different. You are a comedian. Da, da. But as actors, I don't know, do you need to be more careful about what you say and do? Because Johnny, I heard, cause, presumably because you're Johnny Depp, uh, like, I read a story about, was it because you were coming from Lima to Miami, I think, when you were stopped at Customs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and if you hadn't been Johnny Depp, they probably wouldn't have stopped you, would they? Well, it's kind of an interesting route, anyway. Lima, Peru to Miami. <laughs> it does sound like a drug <laughs> run. Uh, <laughs> they're already expecting things, and uh, <clears throat> I did have some things. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there was a kind of a soft bag, and, and uh, the Customs guy said, would you mind opening this up? I said, he said, he said, first, he said, what is in there? I said, uh, stuffed piranhas. <laughs> I'm sorry, stuffed piranhas and some vampire bats. <laughs> Unzipped, and then there just happened to be some sort of vitamin powder that I was taking at the time. Yeah, I mean, in all seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'd still be in jail. <laughs> and and they, it, when I unzipped it, poof, you know. And there were these piranhas and bats covered in white powder. <laughs> was... Why did you have piranhas and bats? Never, never mind the cocaine, right? <laughs> Sorry, there. Yeah, yeah. um, well, why did you have piranhas and bats? Well, it was important to have them. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, I had to bring them home. Yeah. But the guy thought he'd found the mother load, you know. He must have been so excited. Oh, God, it was... Oh. Ooh. After that, two-hander. He didn't go through with it, just so you know. Oh, right. <laughs> No, so what did you, how did you say? Did I'm still a virgin. This? Oh, I was a virgin until Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> did you say? Do you say that's vitamin powder? Don't worry about it. And he believed you. Is that is that real? They he really did, did that. Not believe me. No. No. Right. So no, what did no. they do? Get... Everybody came out with guns and things like that. And you wow. Did you... <laughs> but did you put a knife in your and go up the rigging? <laughs> that's what I'd have done. <laughs> but did, were you top of the customs there, didn't you? Oh, cousin, I remember immigration in the States one time I was going in and I panicked because the guy goes like, uh, so what, what do you do? And I goes, I'm a, I'm a comedian. So he straight away goes, well, tell me a joke. And I just panicked. Because I was like, if this joke isn't funny, he's not going to believe me and I can't get in. So it was like, <laughs> I was like oh, and then straight away I go, uh, what do you call an American? Oh, no, that's gonna, not going to work. <laughs> uh, and I just, like, if I say something, there's like, terrorism in her aunt like that is going to, and I just, I just panicked. And I, I came out with a joke that wasn't that funny. I goes, I goes, uh, why do Morris dancers wear bells so the blind can be irritated by them as well? <laughs> you know, he doesn't know what a Morris dancer is. <laughs> so, but he just he came back with what was basically the worst heckle I've ever had in my career, where he just went, I'm going to put actor. 